Welcome to Module 6, Lesson 3. Let's get started. Today we will be learning how to create scaled bar graphs. We are learning this so that we can understand how data is categorized. We will know that we are successful when we can use bar graphs as a multiplication strategy. The data in the tape diagrams below show the number of fish in each tank at Sal's pet store. How many fish in tank A? How many fish in tank B? How many fish in tank C? There are 15 fish in tank A. There are 30 fish in tank B. There are 10 fish in tank C. I know this because I can count by fives. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10. Let's use the data from the vertical tape diagrams to draw a bar diagram or a bar graph. First, draw the vertical tape diagrams on the grid. What does each box on the tape diagram represent? Each box represents five fish in a tank. Since each box represents five fish, we can write our scale on the side of the grid. Start with zero and count by five. Now that we have our scale, we can erase the numbers in the boxes. Write a title and label the sides. What should we call our bar graph? The title is Number of Fish in Each Tank at Sales Pet Store. Our vertical label is Number of Fish, and our horizontal label is Tanks. Let's plot the data from the bar graph on a number line. First, turn the bar graph so that the bars are horizontal. What will be the intervals on the number line? Well, they should match the intervals on the graph. So by fish. Notice the number line at the bottom has intervals of five fish. Next, plot the points on the number line. So we know that tank C has 10 fish, so we're going to plot 10 fish and put a C above. Tank B has 30 fish, so we're going to plot a circle in green and label it B right above the 30. And tank A has 15 fish, so we're plotting that above the number 15. 
Now it's time for our read, draw, write question. The bar graph shows the top running speeds for animals. Which two animals have the fastest speeds? Plot and label the two top speeds on the number line. So, the scale goes from 0 to 70, 70 being the highest number. So I want to look for the two animals that have the highest numbers. And I can do that by looking at which one goes farthest along on the number line. So obviously Cheetah has the top speed. And the next longest number or longest line that goes farthest right is Horse. And horse travels at 50 miles per hour. So now I can plot those numbers on the number line. And I'm going to say, I'm going to use red for cheetah. And I'm going to plot a dot right here above 70 and label that C. And then I'll use blue for horse and plot that right here above 50 and label that H. So I'm not finished. Remember, you always have to write a sentence to complete the redraw write question. And so I'm going to go over here to my Jamboard, open my text tool, and write a sentence. Looking back at my question, it says plot and label the two top speeds on the number line. The two top speeds are cheetah and horse. I plotted the cheetah's speed at 70 miles per hour, I plotted the horse's speed at 50 miles per hour. So let's now check our answer. Answer, the two fastest animals are the cheetah and the horse. I plotted them on the number line. The C represents the cheetah speed and the H represents the horse's speed. Now it's your turn to complete a redraw right question on your own. We're going to read it together. Then you can use paper or a whiteboard or even a jam board to complete the answer yourself. When you're finished and you've done your very best work, you can look in the description box below to check your answer against the correct answer. The bar graph shows the number of books each student read during the challenge. Plot and label the data for all of the students on the number line. Go ahead and pause the video here, do your very best work, and I'll see you in the next lesson.